Hi, I'm Rookie Waisaki, and I just joined Latitude 64 for this 2015 season, and I'm glad to show you my in the bag. To start off, I'm going to show you my putters, uh, my uh, putting putters, the ones that are my go-to putters for just about every tournament, and that those would be my my uh, zero hard daggers. I got two two pink ones. I just put these in the bag, and these are my. Uh, practice putters and you know for every t all of my practice rounds and building up to the tournament so I got two of the zero hard uh, pink uh, daggers uh, and my main go-to putter for this whole season so far is has been the this Feldbeard stamp uh, zero hard dagger um, go on to my throwing putters uh, I just just got just got this uh, Retroline Mercy since it just got released um, and I really like it because it uh, breaks in nice and it's a really consistent putter to throw, nice and straight, holds a nice straight line. So that's where, that's my main go-to uh, straight throwing putter right now is the Retroline Mercy. And second on the list is the, as I throw the the Canel, it's the same thing as a heart, but Swedish version. It's the BT Hard, and I have two of those. I like them because they're real versatile for, uh, I can throw them for sidearm and backhand up shots, and if it gets windy, so it's, I really like it. It's a really versatile disc for me. The BT Hard Harp. And then I got I got two onto the mid ranges. I got I got two uh, zero hard maces. Um, I like them because they really break in nice and they're really consistent true flying uh, mid ranges. So I got one broken in white one and just put this yellow one in the bag. So I'm gonna put it in for this Emporia win here. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, there's my mid ranges. Um, onto my fairway drivers, I got a, I got a few felons. Uh, I got this uh, blue uh, 175 max weight lucid felon, and I I really like this one because I it's one of the first few discs in my bag, and it's broken in, real nice, and uh, I really can trust this disc. So the blue uh, lucid felon, and this I I actually another felon. It's a first run, first run felon, and I I just got it and. Uh, you know, I haven't thrown the first runs much, but I really like this one. It's really starting to make its way into my bag. Nice spot in my bag. Um, I also have uh, two Optoline Triple X's. This is a newer one. I just put this one in the bag. So this one's going to be, you know, my sidearm and backhand, you know, super overstable hyzer disc. And I got this red one. It's been in my bag for a little while. Uh, it's been thrown and broken in a little bit, but it's really my most trustworthy Triple X. I also really like the Optoline Striker for straight fairway shots. Uh, it's really broken and really nice, and I really I keep one of them, and sometimes two, depending on what kind of courses I have. But there's not too many wooded courses here in Emporia. But so I I like the the Striker for nice straight fairway shots. I also have one one Trident. It's a it's really nice disc. It fits um, right. It's a little bit more, a little bit straighter than the Felon. Goes gl glides a little bit farther, um, but it's really nice to get that a little bit extra glide if I want, if I want to throw a little longer shot than the felon. So the gold line uh, Trident is one of my go-to discs as well. And for two of my last fairways, I got the I like to throw the Optoline Vision. This is one of my favorite roller discs. I really you know I've broken it in since I've been sponsored and really starting to turn into a great roller disc. So I I roll with the Optoline Vision. And uh, the oldest disc I have in my bag, it's from the 2012 Worlds. It's an Optoline uh, Saint, and really my most broken in, you know, hyzer flip, trusty fairway driver. So if you got, got some tight wooded shots and need to go tight hyzer flip lines, I like to throw the Optoline Saint. And onto my drivers. For my drivers, I have, I have, I have three enforcers in my bag. I like, I throw this green. Uh, Fusion Enforcer with my Saki Bomb stamp on it. Just got it recently, and I really have been liking this. How it flies, starting to break in nice. So the Biofusion Enforcer, and I also have this orange uh, Biofusion uh, Enforcer as well. This one is my most overstable one. I just I, actually Eric McCabe just gave me this one to try out, and it's really super overstable, super trustworthy. So it's uh, this one's definitely making nice fit into my bag. And also, the, I got a blue Lucid Enforcer, and this one's really has really uh, worked its way in my bag. It fits right between the orange one and the 
in the green one, so it's it's kind of not too, too crazy overstable and nice and straight. So I like to throw this long glidey power shots. And now I'm gonna kind of you know show you some of my uh, utility discs the, that I like to throw. I got I got a stiletto. I got this white f fusion and stiletto. It's uh, Mac. It's 171 actually deco die. One of my other discs with my uh, new release Saki bomb stamp. Uh, this one's really a meat hook, no matter which way you throw it, sidearm or backhand. So, really trustworthy. If you're in, in the wind, you know what it's going to do. So, I really like the Fusion Stiletto. Uh, onto, onto my scythe. I like throw the Optoline scythe. It's, I throw it because it's like a little bit of a longer felon. Holds the same kind of line as a felon, just goes a little bit farther if you need a little more distance. So, I like the scythe for. I throw it mostly for sidearms, so this is strictly a sidearm disc for me. For some reason, it just seems to fit in my hand and fly good for sidearms. So, the Optoline scythe, that's uh, at max weight. And the the Boatman, I like to throw the the VIP plastic Boatman. It's straighter, it's a little bit straighter than the Enforcer for me. So, if I need to go a little straighter and longer, I like to. Throw the boatman, so that's the my go-to straight long distance disc. And I have a VIP plastic sword blue, as you can see, max weight, and I like to throw this for hyzer flip distance, you know, sidearm and backhand. So this one's really my probably the longest disc I have in my bag, just because it's so broken in, and I know exactly what it's going to do. So the VIP plastic sword. Also. I have the VIP Plastic Giant. It does the same kind of type of shot as the as the sword, so it's really similar for me. The way it, just because it's beat up so much, um, and the giant and the sword right now for me, it's, they fit pretty close as far as the distance hyzer flip slot in my bag. So the, these two, two discs really are my probably my longest discs if I really need to throw full power long distance in a field or something. Those two are my main discs, and uh, that's my in the bag. Hope you guys enjoyed it.